Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. If you are new, welcome. And if you're not new, thank you for coming back for another video. So in today's video, I wanted to give you guys an update on some makeup products that I did first impression reviews on my channel recently and towards the end of 2018. So we're going to be talking about a lot of e.l.f. products. We're going to be talking about Kevin Aquan, Huda Beauty, and Too Faced. So if you want to hear some updated thoughts on some of those products that I shared with you guys on my channel, definitely stay tuned. Also, if you want to see more content from me, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and I will be talking to you guys soon. Let's hop right in. I'm just going to prime really quickly. These are not, you know, I'm not updating anyone on these primers. Um... So I won't like do an extensive talk about them, but you will probably see them in my February makeup haul. So just be on the lookout for these. And this is um, the e.l.f. primer that I mentioned in my favorites video. So yeah, so some of these products that I use today, you will have seen in my favorites or they're just like, I'm still testing them out or something, so I'm not really talking about them. I just, I just wanted to focus today's video on products that I had specifically done a first impression, like review type of first impression on my channel. And so I wanted to give you guys an update on how I'm liking those products. So for the foundation, I'm going to talk about the e.l.f. Uh, Flawless Finish Foundation. I have used this a few times after my first impression video on it. And I actually picked up another shade. This is in the shade Coco. They've always had the shade Coco, and then they expanded into the other shades. And the shade I used in that video was Espresso. And I thought this was a bit too red for me, even though it says with gold and olive undertones. Rich with gold and olive undertones. I think it's the rich that kind of makes it a little bit more red than I would prefer. And then the cocoa is a little bit too light. I can make both of these work. I, can, I like the way cocoa looks by itself more than I like espresso by itself. But I'm going to combine these. So that's the update in regards to the shade. I like mixing these two shades because uh, I was not going to go and buy another one just to see if that would be my full on shade because then you got to pay shipping and stuff and I, I ain't got time for that. So I got these two. I got this one from Amazon. I don't know if the extended shade range is in the other like in their other retailers like Walmart and um, other like drugstores. So I just picked Coco up from Amazon because hey I've got Prime and I got that free shipping. This is cocoa. I'm going into the center of the face. All right, and now going in with <clears throat> espresso. And I'm, but I'm just gonna go ahead and and blend these together because you can see right when I'm blending it out how bright cocoa is. Of course, I'll link the video in which I use this foundation, and you can see the color of espresso but I do like the finish of this foundation if you're following me on Instagram I did do a post wearing only cocoa and it looked the, the makeup looked really good so this is a good definitely a good color match for me with those two shades mixed together all right this is a concealer that is in my favorite so I'm not talking really about this today I'm just gonna go in with a moisturizing hydrating concealer first before I go in with my other concealer. Okay, so in regards to concealer, an update on the 16 hour camo concealer from e.l.f. Um, I like rich chocolate to do some cover up of my darker areas on my face. Um, I think it blends in really nicely, especially once it's blended out. And I did notice that it oxidizes a little bit. And I don't think I mentioned that in my video, but I will just put a swatch on my hand and then you guys can see how it's blended out by the time it dries. So this is what it looks like right now. And I had heard somebody commented on my video about this concealer that it is available at Target as well. I don't know if that's in store or online, but somebody said that it's available at Target. So if you're looking for it, then you might be able to find it at Target. Alright, so I've got my hydrating concealer underneath. If you want more 
information about this hydrating concealer that I'm talking about. Definitely check out my favorites video that went live on Monday. Now I'm going to go in with the 16 hour camo. <clears throat> a little bit below that and blend it up. Just to get a little bit more of a highlight. And once again, these do, sh they do um, like oxidize. So some people might find that to be annoying. But if you know up front, then you can know what color to expect as your end result so in the end it is a good match for uh, my highlighting needs and desires because I don't like my stuff to be super bright like this but when I blend it out and it like mixes with the foundation and the tone of the foundation then I get a nice tone for my highlighted areas that I like okay so this um, concealer does dry down matte. I mentioned that in my first impressions video on it. That's why I like pairing it with a more moisturizing concealer if I'm planning on using this under the eye. So if you don't want to take that extra step or if you so if you have dry under eyes or you know your eyes tend to be a little bit more drier, you want a more moisturized, hydrated look under your eyes then you may need to take extra prep steps for your under eyes like I did say in my first impressions or you can pair this with a more hydrating concealer and I did want to mention to you guys I forgot to say this but that eye under eye primer let me show you this under eye primer it doesn't really do too much I didn't see a big difference in my opinion I just haven't been reaching for it because I didn't see a big difference in using this versus not using it. So I have a few more things I want to talk about, but I'm finished talking about the face products for the most part. So I'm going to do my brows and then my contour and my bronzer. And then I will be back to discuss some eyeshadow palettes and blush. But, um, so update on this, uh, constantly bronzed primer infused bronzer from elf. Of course, I mentioned in that video that I would be using this as a blush. Let me get you guys a nice close up of the shade it's a nice terracotta shade and I have been liking it as a blush it's nice and subtle and it gives me that nice orangey type of tone that I like to have in a blush sometimes so if you uh, aren't feeling the shades that they are offering in their primer infused blushes which are all I think um, they're all pinky red tones then consider uh, consider getting a primer infused bronzer because I like it. it just not applies a nice light flush to the skin it's not over the top and it is very pretty on um on a deeper skin tone I like that it's very subtle and it's you can keep going and keep going and it won't be too much like a blush one of the blushes might be if you go too hard for the eyes I have three palettes that I want to update you on so at the end of 2018 there were a ton of palette releases and I partook in quite a few mainly Pat McGrath but um, I'm not going to talk about those today uh, because I feel like I talked about them before they're all good I don't have no update for y'all on that other than they're the bomb okay so we've got Kevin Aquan I partook in last year we've got the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette that I partook in last year. And then also this Too Faced Gingerbread Palette. Alright, so I'm just going to start off with this one. <clears throat> and so, I have not... I mean, I did you guys a first impression and I used this for a few days after I did my first impression. And I like the quality of this palette. I like... I mean, the quality of the the eyeshadows, uh, the metallics and stuff are very good. And I, I like the palette, but I have not reached for it again. Still smells good. I wouldn't say it's gingerbread. I think this is limited edition, and I don't think you can get this anymore. So I'm not going to use that this one in this uh, video. But I did want to make a comment on the packaging. I do not like this packaging, y'all. And this is how they do most of their palettes, or all of them, except for, like, the uh, peachy mattes. That one is a nice package. I don't like this tin packaging. It just doesn't feel very secure. Look how easily it's opening. I feel like, I think I traveled with this. Um, yeah, I traveled with this once, and now the tin feels like it's all out of whack, and it's just... I just wish it was a different type of package. I don't, I'm not here for the, pa the tin packaging. I'm not here for it. It just seems like it can get dinged and dented and then you're, 
and I think that's what happened with mine and now it's just like it seems like it's overlapping and it seems like it's a little bit misshapen I I'm not feeling this tin packaging so I don't know if I'll get another Too Faced palette if it has this packaging and it seems kind of like a little thing to hold up against a brand or against a palette but if I don't feel like this is secure then I'm not you know confident that I can you know use it without use it freely and freely without it getting dented or you know messed up and this is not secure it's not it's just not so yeah I just wanted to give you guys this update the product the eyeshadows are good so if you're fine with the tin packaging I would recommend if you can find this one this one um or some of their other ones that other people have recommended but for me this this packaging is a pass all right so the new nude this is a great palette I've used this several times after I did my first impressions, and I like it. I know a lot of people were concerned that, or not concerned, but people of color, a lot of them passed on it because they thought that these shades over here would not even work for our skin tone. But I can tell you from using, using this that they all work on my skin tone, and they don't all they don't look pasty or pale so I've done like a nice lavender look with this pale shade pale with this uh, light lavender shade here and this one and that one I've done pinky tones obviously with this palette and I think it's a good palette so I wouldn't just pass up on it because you think that it might not work on your skin tone I think it does work on our skin tones but you have to be in the mood to get more of a uh pinky or a purple toned look i thought that these shades would be more muted when i picked it up and they are not they're very vivid they're very uh very in your face and very punchy so you kind of have to be in the mood for like a pink overall pink toned look or um a little bit of a um like lavender purple type look for you to you know really get a good use out of for this to be for you okay so yeah very but it's very good and I, I like it and I still recommend it I stand by my first impression that this is a good palette very nice so the nude pop this is a palette also of all these palettes I did first impressions on so um let me show you guys this very travel the size of this makes it very travel friendly um and here is this palette i'm gonna turn this up upside down so you don't have to deal with the glare this is really nice and i still like this i know someone had commented on my video that some of these weren't showing up as good on our skin tone i would have to say that some of these you might not use so much because they are paler they are brighter more pastel type of colors so they may lend themselves to show up similarly on our skin tone but i did just use a i did just use this yesterday for a look and i used this shade here as my transition so i got a nice cool tone transition out of that and then this shade here is more of a metallic like pearl not metallic but like a satin pearl finish so you could use and i use this on um in the center of my eye on top of another metallic to make it pop a little bit more i've been liking the way i've done my eyeshadow that away and then this matte white shade could be or it's not even white it's a matte like a matte pale pink tone that could be used to highlight your brow bone with a matte shade so i find the palette to be versatile and easy to use and i like that they use this uh added this like more of a truer gold in here rather than it being purple so you add a little bit of a different element um, to this color story so I like it a lot and I still recommend it and I stand by that first impression so we're going to get into an eyeshadow look with one of those and I will reveal what that is when I come back okay so if you couldn't tell we are using the Kevin Aquan today and I did the wrong eye <laughs> usually when I'm doing my camera my one eye on camera I like to do this eye on camera but of course I didn't do that so we're gonna do our best to keep myself into this frame as I do this look today so going in with mural this is the um it's a satin shade in the palette it's a nice like purple toned satin and i'm putting that in the transition area yeah let me zoom in for you guys so i'm putting this in the transition area building that area up and blending out and this is a nice tone for a transition shade in my I remember my first impression I tried to use this with my finger uh, to put all over the lid and it didn't 
pop as much as I wanted it to so I'm really liking it as a transition area shade to kind of intensify the purple tone of the look and then I'm going in with a uh, hue and of course I'll put my little picture of the palette in my video so you guys can see what exact shade I'm talking about and that's a lighter matte tone I'm using that um, just a little bit above mural to make sure it's all blended I am going in with the dark shade of the palette called design and I'm gonna be uh, defining my crease with this now if you are of a lighter skin tone than me you have more options in this palette as far or you might have more options in this palette as far as um, crease shades definer shades go for me I have this shade and I could probably make graffiti work as a crease shade because it is a bit of a darker shade but it is a lot more um, it's not satin and it's not matte it's like more metallic it has more glitter in it so that might be a challenge so just FYI if there's if the fact that there's not a whole bunch of deep shades for you to go in with for your eyeshadow looks then this might not be the palette for you but for me in my update I wanted to share with you guys that I still like this palette so next I'm gonna go in with graffiti on my finger and this is what that shade looks like there you can see that there and I'm taking that on the outer corner of the eye just pressing that in up to that transition area and you can see yeah you can see the shine that you see you can see the shine that this color has and it's like a deeper like dark cool toned brown it looks a little bit more like purple because of the that's what it is it's purple uh, glitters in here that lend themselves to show up lend them lend the color to show a little bit more purple but it is ha it has a nice dark brown uh, base to it as you can see here this is what is left on my finger after I've like patted it on to the lid okay so next shade is going to be that beautiful gold shade called um, is it mosaic yeah mosaic this shade here it's so pretty so very pretty and then go in with that on the remainder of the lid here's what it looks like very smooth gold shade and pop that right on the remainder of the lid and then whatever's left just pat that over top of uh, graffiti that we just used okay all right and then I'm gonna take the other pop shade in the palette which is not portrait uh masterpiece that's the uh, pink tone here right there on my finger and then place that right on the uh, mid in the middle of my lid but just at the top I think you guys have seen me do something like this before in another look and it's really not is it popping it's not popping like I want it to on top of that shade I think the gold is so like sparkly and poppy that that's not gonna pop like that so I'm gonna take um, creation that's that pearl white tone I talked to you guys about earlier and pop that up there now you guys can see that pop and I need to do that over here too because I thought I did it but it didn't show like I wanted it to there we go there we go that is so cute I've been really feeling that type of look where you just pop it right up the top so you get a little peak you know get a little bit of difference when you look up or down whatever all right so I'm gonna take a um, flatter brush into that same color creation I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and do like I told you guys earlier and just pop that on the brow bone and blend out make sure you blend it 
because just putting it there it can be a little intense with it being like a white pearl but blending that out really helps and it gives you a nice brow bone highlight going back in with my blender shades or my blender brushes that I used earlier making sure that's blended I'm using I'm trying to use a lot to show of these shades to show you guys how they were working I'm going with portrait this is the more uh, champagne satin and can you believe I in the time it took me to do this eye from showing you guys this palette earlier and talking about it to doing this eye I was a, managed to gouge this <laughs> To gouge the shade with these nails. So anyways, I'm going in with that shade. This is a more champagne toned satin uh, metallic look. And I'm taking that on the inner corner. And this is more of a satin type of a look. Just like that white pearl shade we put up under our brow bone. So you're not going to get like a huge punch of color and brightness right there. But you do get a nice little little sheen to that uh, shade so I'm going to do oh next for my under eye before I pull out of this video or before I pull out of this shot I'm gonna put some more of the design shade on the brush that I use to carve out my crease and just sweep this under my under eye I mean under my lash line lightly and that just adds a little bit adding a little bit of depth under the lower lash line do my so I'm gonna do my eyeliner and mascara and I will be back all right guys here is the final look all right guys so um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below I do want to show you guys these elf swatches so this is what the colors or this is what the um, concealer looks like after I've finished my makeup or whatever this is how dry it is like it just it feels like the same texture of my skin and like I said my skin is really dry right now because I've washed my hands and I didn't like lotion them so let me show you guys what these look like when they're freshly swatched okay so you can see that there is quite a difference between those colors this is the rich chocolate shade so you can see how deep it got after it dried down and then that's what it looks like when it's first applied so that's why I'm cool with using this as um, like a spot concealer and then the deep cinnamon which there it is dry right there let me swatch this right here and you can see how light that is when it's first applied versus when it's dried down so take that into account when you're looking about thinking about buying these concealers take into account the fact that they you know that they oxidize and that they can be pretty dry so and even when I'm like so I just wiped off the wet ones these are still like staying strong they're hardly coming off so I mean I, <laughs> that's probably why where that 16 hour comes in because hey they seem to be pretty long lasting so um, yeah guys I hope this video was helpful for you guys I do like doing first impressions because um, I like getting the information out there about the product so you guys can if you're thinking about wanting to buy it like close to when it launches then you can have an initial idea of how it worked for me but I always want to come back on here as much as I can because I didn't used to do this but as much as I can now with my more consistent upload schedule and give you guys updated thoughts on some of the products that I tried on camera if with the first impression so those are my thoughts on some of my recent first impressions I hope this was helpful for you guys let me know what you guys think about these eyeshadow palettes because the ones I'm featured or specifically the new nude and the nude pop um, have had like mixed reviews from my understanding for uh, people of a deeper skin tone so for me I think they work well and I really like them and I'm happy that I have them so you guys let me know your opinion in the comment section below let me know how you, what you think about this look and oh yes for the lips it's not anything that I have to update you guys on it's just a Milani lip gloss and tenderness and my matte lip liner from uh, NYX in downtown beauty and this I really like this lip combo <laughs> um, 
But okay, guys, let me know what you guys think, and I will be talking to you guys really soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you like content. If you like this video, subscribe so you can see more like it, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked the video. And I will be talking to you guys really soon. Definitely hit me up in the comment section, and we can chat. All right, I'll talk to you soon. See ya.